um one uh last and so we have to come back and probably round up uh, the, the that we, that means we spent about what, two hours talking to Disney Kalu and then it's been an exciting journey um, right about now we're trying to know more about our life as, outside basketball this time not relationship but you know um, a business how she makes extra income about some of our little secrets um, into building a successful brand um, you know so far so good I think she's been having it good and we hope that this continue for a very long time so um, as we were saying before our uh, time um, left, the, the products you, you're thinking of shelving for now and then the ones you think that okay you, you need to to yes. spend more time to because it's relevant to the people. Yeah, so the products that did sell out, I'm definitely focusing on those and, and, and trying to get a restock as soon as possible. But I'm also bringing new products and new colors to the table because I don't want people to, to get bored with what I already have. So um, I wasn't supposed to say that, but I'm definitely going to have new colors and, and new products once the uh, the restock of the products that sell out come out. So I, I, every 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 two or three weeks or so, every three months or so, I want to give people something different so they can see what cool cosmetics have to offer. I'm going to give a different product or a new color or or a new brand. Just I want to always keep something different flowing in. So even when the products do sell out, I do focus on those. But I also re remember to have new products coming in so people can know that, you know, this is what the new colors are. This is how to stay fresh. And this is what we have to offer. How affordable are these things? Very affordable. Compared to Mac and all these other websites, my lipstick is very affordable. I charge twelve dollars for my lipstick. Um, I charge ten dollars for my that's not a lot. Fix your face. <laughs> I sell the lip glosses for ten dollars. I sell the lip scrub for seven dollars. I sell the mascara for eleven. I'm very affordable. My slogan for my brand is affordability at its best. And my shipping is only like 4 or $5. So it's very inexpensive. Um, I did my pricing based on uh, my competitors' my competitors' prices. I know a company that's charged their, their uh, products for like $16, not include, that, that doesn't include shipping. I know Mac charged somewhere between $20. I know some companies that charge like maybe 9 or $10. So I kind of want to stay like in the, in the general vicinity where I'm making money and not losing money because it, it took, it takes money it took money to create my brand, so I don't want to, you know, be so cheap and so affordable to the point where I lose out and I lose out on the profit that I want to make for my brand as a whole. So I definitely try to keep the price affordable and in between. And I know if I can afford twelve dollars, you know, the next person can definitely afford, you know, twelve dollars. I get my cut. My target market is ages thirteen and up, any race, any gender. You know, it doesn't. I don't discriminate at all. My all my all my products are suitable for ages thirteen and up. How do you cope with uh, the your admirers? You know, the opposite opposite um, sex, the men, the guys. How do you cope with them? And any probably your most embarrassing moment. How do I cope with the guys as far as what my when brand? It, you know, when it comes to basketball. Oh yeah. Um, I um, probably a fan. Huh? And possibly your most embarrassing moment. With, uh, oh, uh, my most memorable moment with a fan was probably this young guy. I was uh, I was playing in Germany, and there was this young gun guy there. He's maybe twelve or thirteen. He was he was like one of my biggest fans. I actually have pictures with him in my room. But he's like my biggest fan, and you know he always cheered for me for the games. He wore my jerseys and had my pictures and posters, so that's a really a special moment for me as far as a fan. And as far as uh, the guys, I don't know a memorable, a memorable moment, or I don't, I don't even, I didn't even understand that question, so it must don't need to be answered. How do you <laughs> with uh, probably wanting to hang out with you, and then, you know because of the game because. I to you and all that. How do you oh, okay. Um, ah, ah, ah. I understand that. I get it. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't really pay too much attention to that. Um, 
whether I'm talking to a guy or not, and he's into the sport of basketball or not, it's just like, I don't know. I just, I cope like everybody else, I guess. <laughs> some are not coping, but what is your strategy? Huh? I said some are not coping, but what is your own unique strategy in coping with that? I just try not to pay attention to it. That's how I cope. Have you been embarrassed, <laughs> have you been embarrassed before? With the uh, with the guy or just in general? General. Oh yeah, I've been embarrassed before. I think everybody has. Same, um, basketball. Same basketball. My most embarrassing moment in basketball was probably um when my lashes came off in the game. <laughs> I had artificial. <laughs> oh my god! I will never forget. I, I will never forget this moment. I was playing the college game. We were playing Mississippi State, and um, a girl fouled me, and she poked me in the eye. And I was wearing fake lashes at the time. And one of my fake lashes came off, and it was like on the on, like because they had like floor seats, so there was a fan there, and my lash was on his shoe. Like on the top of it, yes, it was so embarrassing. I'm just like I can't play with one lash, so I just I painfully just tore the other one off, and it was just like all my real lashes were gone. It was just it was a, it was a really embarrassing moment, and I'm just sitting there playing with no lashes on. My lashes just on the floor. Yeah, it was that was really embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. Okay, um, your status. Uh, when it comes to relationship, are you single? Are you married? Are you in a relationship? Are you in a situation? Are you confused? No, I am single. I'm single. I'm not, you know, I'm not really looking. I'm not not looking. If somebody comes along or if I happen to meet someone, that's perfectly fine. But at the moment, I'm single. Um, yeah, I'm just giving it to God, leaving it to God. We'll let you know, please. You have to shoot your shot. <laughs> Sounds painful. Shut up, Kalechi. <laughs> uh, will you cover the shot? Huh? Will you cover the shot? Are you allowed the shot to, to sail home? If 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 somebody if Kalechi uh, Kalechi shoots at you. I already I already told you Kalechi already has a lot going on and he already be in a lot of DMs, so i so what, what do you know about him? Huh? What do you know about him? Listen, Nigeria, Team Nigeria basketball is very small. Okay. So I don't want to, you know, just know, just know that people talk, you okay. know. So we just try to just, you know, keep things just subtle. But I'm pretty, yeah, Kalechi's even a great guy. He's a great friend, but I think he's involved with someone, right, Kalechi? Yeah, uh, I don't really. Out of all these national team players for men, who do you really like? Um, I think they are pretty. They are pretty nice. Pretty cool. Nice guys. Yeah. Guys, you know, that you, you, if if the pro possibly ask you out, you, you, you say yes. Um, depends on who it is. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So out of all these guys that we that we have currently on the roster, who who, who will you pick out? That's okay. This is my okay. Team. How about this? I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna say who. But on that roster that they have now, it's probably about two or three guys that may have a chance with me. That may that. that that may that may have a chance. And, and that's just huh. And the end. Give us. And the end. Yeah. Int. 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 Oh no, no hint. Why? Why that? Because I feel like. Oh, remember, we're friends. You can you can talk to me. You can confide in no. me. No, yeah, I can talk to you when there's not thousands of people watching our live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, Thank you, Elliot. Your 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 ideal man. 
what's what's your, what's your idea idea of um, what a man should be? Um, I actually have a list. I created a list of the type of man that I want to manifest into my energy, into in my and in, into my space. But uh, my ideal guy is um, handsome, respectful. Can we see the list? Huh? Can we see the list? The men talk. The, 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 the of list. course not. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> my I, my I. <laughs> My ideal guy is uh, definitely handsome, respectful, educated, um, loves to travel, loves to have fun, uh, family oriented, um, definitely has to be an alpha male because I have a strong personality. Um, uh, what else? Got to be ambitious, motivated, have some type of goal, have some type of sense of security about yourself, very masculine. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, that's that's all the all the requirements really. You know, there's other things that I can add to the list, but the core the core ingredients are are those right there. Craziest yeah. thing you've ever done. Craziest thing I ever done was hmm. I don't know. I do a lot of crazy stuff. Now that I think about it. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember. But you said you've done a lot of crazy stuff. So Yeah, like I've like I've like I've showered with my uniform on after a game, like full uniform, socks, jersey, you know, compression shorts, tights, all that. I've done that before. Um what else? Um I, I mean, I guess I guess you can say that was my craziest. What about the national team? Probably um, sticking out or something. Or, you know, yeah, definitely. I definitely got. I definitely snuck out quite a few times for the national team. <laughs> I hope they're not watching this, but yeah, I've definitely. I'm watching. I'm watching. So huh? I, I said I'm watching, so I, I would, I would, I would give them that report. Yeah, I've definitely uh, had my fair share of sneaking out moments with the national team. Those are definitely crazy fun times. Um, uh, just out. Uh, I remember one time we all snuck out for Joyce's birthday. It was it was Joyce's birthday one time we had training camp in Atlanta, and you know, uh, camp. We were, I think we were probably like three weeks in, and you know, Matt Ben, she's really tough and strong on us, and you know, she didn't want us going out, but it was Joyce's birthday. Like we've been in camp. All this time working hard, like we were ready to have some fun, so we snuck out and they were like, they were livid, they were pissed off. But I mean, we had fun, so it really didn't matter. It really didn't matter to us, as long as Joyce enjoyed her birthday. We can deal with the, you know, the raft later. <laughs> so how do you relax? How do I relax? Uh, with a book, um, with a truthfully with a book, uh, with a Netflix show, or a nice glass of wine. Yeah. Um, R&B or rap? Uh, R&B. I like rap music more when I'm like about to go out or when I'm getting ready for a game. How, wild, from this... how wide can you go? How? Wild can you go? How wide can I go? Yeah. What do you mean? As in W I L D. Oh, Wait. how wild can I go? Uh. I don't know. It depends on on the day. <laughs> okay. Favorite color? Purple. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Team Apple, everything for sure. Brand of car? Uh, BMW. That's what I have right now. Okay. What accessory wouldn't you ever not want to have it? Um, uh, ask, what was that question again? Access to that you never cut without, or you won't be cut without. Oh, uh, um, my journal. Okay. Um, your beauty routine? My? Beauty routine, routine, beauty routine. 
I just wake up and go. <laughs> huh? You don't even take me a bath. <laughs> no, obviously we know that's self-explanatory. But um, my beauty routine, I don't really have one. Like, I, I wake up, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I put cocoa butter or Vaseline on my face. The only two things that touch my face. Uh, or at night, I use uh, this stuff called witch hazel. It's like a face toner. But other than that, I just, most of the time, I just wake up and go, brush my teeth and go. I don't really do too much, you know. Beauty comes naturally. You you spoke about um, your first breakup, and then you said uh, probably that drove you to having tattoos on your body, right? I did not say that. That was what you said. <laughs> that was what you said. So how many tattoos do you have? I have uh, 13 tattoos. Should I, should, should I go forward to ask you where those tattoos are? No. Going? No. Um, finally, before I let you go. Okay. Uh, advice to Nigerians uh, at this period. Uh, you said words to Nigerians? Advice, yes, to Nigerians. Oh, so, advice. So, um, whatever you... Yeah, whatever you, like I said before, whatever you, you know, want to do in life, whatever your goals are, whatever your plans are, whatever your dreams are, don't give up on them. I know the world is in a tough place right now, but don't give up, you know, keep working hard, keep keep staying dedicated to what you want to accomplish in your life. You know, remember to have fun, give 100%, be your biggest fan, your biggest supporter, and just always have the mentality that you can do it. Um, never let anybody discourage you, stay motivated. And just be believe in yourself and everything will work out. Everything will, you know, your light will shine bright. One day, God has a plan for you. Just stay on that path and continue to work hard. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. And then special regards to your mom. Tell her that she was so And then we're very grateful for raising a child like you that, you know, to stand up for ourselves and then stand up for our country. Thank you. We hope that in future, so now that I have a question for you, though, I don't. I won't ask, answer any question. But you have to be honest. This is one way. Out of all, out of all your interviews, <laughs> this, is, this is one way. Out of all your, out of all your interviews, who were yeah. the, who was the favorite? Who was the best? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, what? Out of all your interviews, oh, out of all the interviews that you did. So you see, I, I I enjoy personal relationship with all the people I've interviewed, and, and that that has um, really um, how will I influence the questions I ask them, and then people will probably be talking about why are you asking all this question? Why didn't you ask that person that question and all that? But for me, I know a bit about everybody. I know your your love for tattoos. I know you know some places where tattoos are dedicated because you know I've been around for for a while now. And, when it comes to probably Stan Okoye, I know a bit about him. You know, it comes to um, every Nakata. But so it's it's been very difficult for me to to pick one person that this is this is the best I ever had. But I think basically for everybody that I've spoken with or talked to, I think different different vibes, different different okay. and all that. But it's been good great. answer. It's really awesome. And then by tomorrow, we're going to bring another, another. <laughs> Answer her. <laughs> another, another show. And then I, I hope that Nigerians, we have um, another great time. So thank you so much. Uh, Izzy. Thank you for having me. Uh, bye. Bye bye. All right. That was that with Ezin and Kalu. And then. She had the guts to ask, to ask me a question. Hmm. Okay. No wahala. Uh, it's, it's been fun having her for the past um, two and a half hours. We've been talking about everything in between. Um, our life of the court, growing up as an American, as a black kid in, in the U.S. Uh, uh, I will put in a, a link to, 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 to being a Nigerian and also 
pride wearing and that green white green jersey over over the recent months she's been getting the deserved accolades and you know the, the feeling for her and then prospect of playing in WNBA which she told us that in the nearest future that will probably happen. It's a nice one. So by tomorrow we're gonna bring another guest on this on this show. Possibly a member of the D Tigers or D Tigress. Never can say. But till then keep playing basketball.